Vengeance Sound Avenger is back with a vengeance in the form of Avenger 2. That's right, the kitchen sink style synth has returned and it's bigger and badder than ever. But is it too much? Let's find out. So, if you're unfamiliar with the original Avenger from Vengeance Sound, it's just a huge, super powerful synth, and it's uh, been made even bigger in Avenger 2. Um, it doesn't just have a big sound. It's got a big interface. I've had to change the zoom down to 90% to fit it on this uh, 1080p resolution I'm using for this video recording. And it doesn't just have a big interface. It's got a big sound. I'll, uh, I'll show you an example. So I'm going to load up the new Factory 2 bank. I'm going to set the sequences bank. I'm going to make sure that the preview's turned off because we want this to be a nice surprise. So we've got sequence chart pop bap. Let's uh, let's hear what this is doing. Great. So I'm playing one key at the moment, and I can play along as well. Okay. Lots going on in this patch. We've got five oscillators, one playing a vocal, one playing a bass line, chords, pads. We've got that lead I was playing over the top. Um, you know, if we... Uh, <laughs> we can also have a drum sequencer. So, yeah, there's just a huge amount going on. And I can't imagine that most Sonic State people watching this video are really interested in um, making an entire tune with just my key. I mean, maybe that's useful for you if you... Uh, if you need to make a lot of music very, very quickly. I mean, that was certainly very quick. Let's have a look at the uh, the more basic low-level uh, operation. And look, we can initialize the patch. Thank goodness. Yes, I definitely want to initialize everything. Let's make everything a lot simpler. So let's make a sound from scratch. We've got uh, an oscillator here. There are many, many modes for the oscillator, but we'll just do something with uh, the basic saw at first. Now you can hear that this initialized patch has got some effects on it. Heresy! Don't worry about it. You can resave the initialized patch and make it your own. But uh, this gives us an opportunity to demonstrate how the routing works. We can see the routing here. I mean, you can you can change it. Look, you can look at the drum routing here. We want to look at oscillator one routing, and the signal flows down here. So we have the arpeggiator that's turned off. The, the pitch modulation. If we want to see where that is, we just click it and select go to. Oh, look there, we can see pitch modulation. Um, so let's turn off these effects. They're down here. That's cool. Um, so we'll go back to the uh, oscillator itself and we'll say, let's have seven voices. We'll turn up the mix on the unison D tune. We'll turn up the D tune. Let's turn up the octaves of the D tune. So it's very easy to get like a big super saw sound right away. Let me uh, muck about with some uh, other stuff here. I want to turn down this cutoff modulation, but turn up the key track. And this is all pretty simple standard stuff. So first it goes through the pitch as we've seen. So we could do that if we wanted to. Then it's going to go through a shaper. Let's let's see where the shaper is. Oh, it's just here. That's cool. So look, we can turn up the amount of shaping and look, there's a bunch of different stuff. We can make a horrendous sound if we want to. And then it goes to the filter. The filter's here. But hey, what if we wanted to move these around? Well, we just drag them and then it'll do the filtering before the uh, shaper. So there we go. It's pretty simple. And then you've got the step sequencer coming in. You've got the effects. So this is basically the most basic uh, level of operation. And of course, you don't just have a saw. You've got absolutely loads and loads of different things. So we have our virtual analog shapes here. Uh, <laughs> and then loads of other stuff as well. So look, I mean, we can... Look, this, you know... It's going to take all day if we try and look at everything. Um, so we'll just go more quickly through it. So look, there's... Look at all this stuff. I mean, there's a crazy amount of stuff here. Um, and a bunch of it is new. Look, wavetable stuff. And a bunch of it is new. But before we look at the new stuff, um, I wanted to show you why I really like Avenger 2. Um, and the reason is because... Um, 
while I was reacquainting myself with the synth, I mean, I did play with Avenger 1 uh, a bit a few years ago when it came out, but I was kind of uh, getting to know the synth again. Didn't really know what I was doing. Um, and I kind of just like came up with a bunch of sounds by accident that aren't particularly big or clever. But these are sounds that I really enjoyed and they um, they made me... They made me feel inspired. I mean, some some of them, like this one, aren't particularly uh, exciting. It's just a dread with a little bit of harmonic extra stuff on it using these various um, uh, extra controls on your on your on your oscillator. But you know, it sounds real nice, and it uh, yeah, it got me going. What else have we got? I mean, it's just some LFO distortion stuff, but it sounds good. What's Dutch Massive? It's literally just some pitch modulation on a super saw. But I don't know, I feel it's got like a nice energy to it. What's, what's my epic organ? Big Euro organs. Who doesn't love them? Oh, this filthy wob. I like. That is the sort of sound I never would have made unless I was messing around with this synth. But I don't know, it sounds great. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not the sort of stuff I normally make, but this, you know, playing with this synth, it makes me want to make Euro bangers and tech step D and B. And so what's this? So this is just a sawtooth, but it's got some parallel um, filters on it. It gives it a bit of a vocal quality. Just good stuff. You know, ravey bell wave tables. Just, you know, I made it kind of a random. And, you know, and, it, and an energetic pitch modulating sequence sound. So, yeah, so... Before we get into the new stuff, which isn't necessarily the most exciting stuff in the synth, this is why I feel like Avenger 2 is um, really cool. And all of these sounds are essentially using one oscillator. You can have, like, flipping eight. <laughs> so, you know, there's uh, plenty uh, to get your teeth into. Anyway, so let me uh, reinitialize everything, because what I want to look at now is the uh, new spectral granular uh oscillator type um so let's see what we've got in here let's have a look at some vocals uh, so uh, so because this is granular this is um gonna kind of play back at a rate that you uh decide yourself uh, 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 down here we can change uh, 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 the position there as well but what's really interesting about this mode is the uh spectra expander uh, uh, so this is some kind of FFT processing where it's uh, boosting the level of uh, uh, harmonics, basically. Um, I, I can't be uh, super accurate about this because the version 2 manual isn't finished yet. I'm assured that it's going to be ready uh, soon, but you can get the idea from listening to it. And we have a threshold control. So if we turn that down, it's really noisy. But if we turn it up, we're just boosting those frequencies that are there. Let's try that with a, a different sound. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so clearly you can really, really twist stuff up. So another thing they've added is a uh, new kind of arpeggiator feature. So uh, let's pick ratchets. So now... Uh, we have a choice of these, these things, which are called ratchets. Oh, I might need to activate the arpeggiator. Oh, look, we've gone back to rating. Look, it's happening. Arpeggiator, it's happening first. So these are just rolls, basically. And look, you have a choice. And uh, if we go through these... You can hear, you get some lovely uh, sidship style uh you know a quick chip tune roll chord things or whatever so that's great i mean it feels like a shame to not do a little bit of uh super saw action here so it's a pretty cool feature yeah real easy to use you choose the thing it does the thing 
great stuff. So another thing they've added is a parallel routing for the filters. So say we were to add another filter, we've now got filter two as well. We'll add that to the routing. So now it goes through filter one, then it goes to filter two. So if we select filter one, filter everything out, we're not gonna hear what filter two is doing because we've already filtered the signal out by filter one. But we put everything in parallel mode, goodness. Um, then we've got sends over the top. So we're getting the both filtered signals and we're also getting the, the main signal as well. So let's... So you can uh, make more complex sculpting of your sound. And also there's the uh, master filter here. Um, which we can enable. And then that happens down here. So you've got really, really tons and tons of filter routing options. Another thing, you can uh, now use loops uh, on individual drum slots, uh, as well as one shots. And Avenger 2 comes with 1500 of them. That's right. That sort of thing, yeah, drum loops, right? Um, and these will stretch to your project tempo, or you can uh, use like resampling, basically. You know how that works. Um, or you could just play it as a one shot. Don't know why you'd want to do that. Let's uh, have a look at some of these sounds. Oh my goodness, there's millions of them. Yeah, junglism. Lo <laughs> loads of stuff here. I mean, personally, I like to do my beats in my DAW, but uh, who knows? Uh, maybe, maybe you'd want to do something with this. So anyway, not my favorite feature. Moving on. And let's check out yet another new feature. So um, quantization. Oh, I've really got to get rid of those. Um, quantization on your pitch. How does this work? Well, let me show you what I did with this. So we've turned this on. Um, Let's go for minor because we're feeling sad. Um, so what we can do here is we're going to go to the mod matrix and then we're going to add a new modulation. Uh, let's go for LFO1. You're going to select our target. We're going to select oscillator one, oscillator quantize. And then we're going to go for uh, pitch, I guess. Um, so let's turn this up. So, okay, we'll turn down the speed of LFO one. And then you get an idea of what it's doing. Let's let's go up an octave or two. So we're now we're LFO modulating the pitch of oscillator one, but it's snapping to these minor notes. And then this is good for like, I don't know, modular style pitch weirdness. I don't know, you crazy kids. Um, let's uh, go for acid TB1. I'm sure there's, okay, yes, there is a way to, to de-sync this from the host tempo. Yes, we right click on that. And then we can control the rate manually. And we can have some horrendous noises there. Phrygian, you want it to sound like a fridge? Oh, okay. oh is that like Egyptian vibes? Hey, look, while, while we're being exotic, let's turn that back on. Hey, yeah, buddy. Just one of the many, many wild things you can do with Avenger 2. So let's check out some of the factory sounds. We have the original Avenger factory bank here, but look, there's a new bank as well, and it's got a bunch of stuff in it. What's the first sound? <laughs> go uh, instantly you've got the main idea of a song and you could just go and have a cup of tea instead wicked i mean uh, i'm i'm all for it uh... what i will say though is now look look at this cpu it's getting up to 20 percent 
Um, so I've got a, I've got buffer size of like uh, ten twenty four. Though I uh, and this is my um, Intel i seven two thousand eighteen iMac or whatever. Um, that'll be a bit bumped up because I'm using my screen capture software. But still, this is this is heavy. Um, but, you know, how many instances do you need when uh, it's basically the whole, th the whole thing? Look, let, look, we all just want to hear the sequences. Let's have a listen to uh, Chaos Engine. Yeah. Yeah, wicked. We're, we're, we're heading into the Matrix with that one. Do we want some driving techno? Oh, we sure do. Okay, look, that's it. Look, this is these aren't really Sonic State vibes. What we really want to hear are some pads. Do we want to hear some uh, minor nine chords played on some lovely pads? You better believe it, buddy. Well, that's it's kind of understated. What else have we got in here? I mean, that's just nice, isn't it? What about your crystals? Oh, the look of the spectral expansion is in effect here. Let's uh Ooh. Getting glassy with it. Oh! And we're heading into the nightmare zone. But no, let's go back to Heaven's Gate instead, where things will be nice. Oh lovely. Yeah, we're gonna play all of these pads. Very nice. This is using a vocal sample as its source there, so you know, lots you can do. Yeah, that's fine. It's not euphoric enough for my taste. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, nice and sweepy, sweeping into the future. Oh, some Fairlight vibes, I guess. It's cool. some stacked stuff we've got a pad and an arp but one does never cease what else we got let's have some piano and keys what's this going to do for us a sound you might use in a song very nice what have we got on the lead front uh, i guess you want to make some edm Yeah, I mean, it's all good stuff. I mean, clearly, how much you like these patches is going to depend on your taste in uh, music. What have we got over? <laughs> I mean, Euro bangers are the order of the day. I mean, yeah, like I say, if you're, if you're making music for, you know, trailers and stuff, I guess it's sick. Yeah, Vangelis. All good stuff. Yeah, let's have some atmospheres. Yeah, I mean, I could really play with this bad boy all day. You can stack up so many oscillators. You can stack up arpeggiators. You can stack up filters. You can stack up the mod matrix. This is a stacked synth. Um, and while I had a, I had a few issues uh, getting to grips with it, with it at first or whatever, I had some slight issues with installation or whatever, got all my patches running, everything got sorted out. I did feel it, it was a bit tough uh, not having a, um, a manual for version 2, though I am assured that that is coming imminently. So what I would say is... Um, this is, a, this is a synth that's great for beginners because you can just make an entire tune with one key. Um, it's also great if you're a bit of a synth nerd because there's so much going on. Um, maybe maybe it has less appeal to kind of like people who are in the middle uh, who, who just want a synth where they can, for example... Uh, makes stuff very very easily from scratch or they can or they can tweak existing patches without having to like work out loads of stuff that's going on um but look if you really if you if you want a synth that's gonna give you just an insane amount of possibilities 
The price point is £200 or your regional equivalent. Though it's uh, on, it's like 30% off, I think, at the time of making this video. So uh, presumably this is the sort of thing that's uh, going to go on uh, sale every once in a while. Um, there's no demo version. Maybe there will be one in the future. But at the moment, you might just have to take that plunge. I don't know. 200 quid, I think, is good value. I think, I think this is, for me... This is a much more appealing prospect than something uh, like a kind of VFX Nexus where you can't really tweak stuff so much. Um, I think this is a lot of synth for the money. Also, there's loads of, you know, samples and, you know, patches in there. This, this is... This isn't a beast. It's a monster. Uh, a monster that you must respect. So, Avenger 2. It's got a few rough edges, it's got a bit of a learning curve, but I tell you what, it's a synth experience unlike any other. And if you're into banging club sounds, or you just like a really powerful synth, then there's really something interesting there. So uh, yeah, why not give it a look?